So with this picture, this was in early 2001 in Afghanistan, uh, guys from uh, Joint Task Force 2 doing some good work overseas in Afghanistan, pulling uh, some douchebags off of specific targets. And this one image is exactly what you see. So a couple of JTF-2 assaulters um, managing the detainees, you know, and uh, get ready to hand those off to, um, you know, the, the people that would continue to question them and, and try to collect more information for, for, uh, for, for future um, follow-up tasks and, and operations. And, you know, with the picture that you see, yeah, the, the old school shin pads were still being worn by, by this particular assaulter, that's his choice. And then oftentimes people ask me, well, what's on the side of his legs? And those were, you know, not uncommon that guys would carry some sort of explosive into a leg bag. Uh, so if they had to breach a, a door, or a fortified structure, um, they would have the, the ability to do that. So yeah, old, old school picture, but um, obviously it worked, uh, it worked during that time. Further to this picture, um, as things unfolded and, and operations and tasks were evolving, so too did the kit and equipment. And oftentimes pieces of equipment would come in in phases. So maybe uh, an upgraded upper receiver on the long gun, um, maybe the Kevlar helmet would change, maybe the uh, plate carrier would change. So they would come in, in in phases. So it would not be uncommon to, to see you know five or six assaulters and, and all their kit is, is kind of um, organized a little bit differently um, based on their likes, their mission set, and, and also as new pieces of equipment would come into the, uh, into the organization.